What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh sh no. Uh, well, I'll just keep it. I'm gonna start doing the intros off the bike. Hitting a nice little look at it. Oh my god, dude, this thing looks amazing. The f Nick A30 me. <laughs> Anyways, I just got finished the gym. That shit was packed to the brim, bro. I was there forever, but we still did it anyways. We're gonna get a startup of the bike right now. I put this new uh, oil filter, oil filler cap on because when I was doing the oil change the last time, I over tightened this thing and oil was leaking out of here. So I got a new cap, same seal, but I just over tightened the factory cap. So I think the threads on it probably wore down or something. Not too sure, but uh, I had to get a new filler cap and I just went with gold. It matches the forks pretty well. Um, and yeah, had to get a new one of those and I put about like a tablespoon maybe maybe if that of oil back into it because it was leaking for probably five i think like five days yeah but um you know we won't get a startup of this beast this little beast this little 600 and now uh, we're gonna get on the road dude come on yeah, I want to start introing the videos with, uh, you know, like talking for a second, getting the cool shots of the bike and shit. And then we're going to get into quarter day and then we're going to ride around. So we're going to get on the road. Once I'm on the road, I'll give quarter of the day. And yeah, so I'll see you guys on the road. All right, we are on the road now. the street damn bro. this thing always sounds so good I swear I'll never get sick of it but for quarter of the days for today is nobody gives a shit about you. I'm not sure if I made a video like this one before. I'm pretty sure I have, but this is a not. It doesn't. It's not supposed to be like to make you sad or anything. It's supposed to make you realize that nobody cares, bro. Literally, nobody cares. Literally, nobody cares about you I think I did make a video like this before I'm not I don't remember what, what I called it or what I titled it but dude if you got in public everybody is so focused on themselves and wondering what people are thinking about them they don't have time to worry about you and it's ironic the ironic part and what's ironic about this is that everybody thinks everyone else cares about them and everybody else is focused about what everyone else thinks about them they don't realize that nobody fucking cares. Actually, nobody cares. Because everybody is so focused on themselves, nobody's paying attention to you. They don't have time to. So if you're out there having social anxiety, it's easier to just say nobody cares about you and get over it than it is to actually do. But I think the first part, like the first, all right, dude, false neutral. <laughs> dude, I fucking... False neutrals are like my best friend, I guess, dude. Um, but it's easier to, to just say it than do it, you know? But the first part of actually fixing this problem of social anxiety or whatever you want to label it as is to realize that nobody genuinely cares. You have the people in your life that you know personally, and that's it. That's all the people that actually genuinely give a fuck about you unless you're doing some like crazy thing in public where you're like yelling and screaming at the top of your lungs or some weird shit like that if you're not doing that in public which you probably aren't nobody gives a single fuck about you i promise dude like i swear nobody cares dude, i want to turn left here
you gotta realize, dude, that like, realistically, nobody give a shit, bro. So if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be scared about what people think about you, and you're gonna be obsessed about it, just let it go, dude. And that's the first step to letting it go is realizing, like, what you're actually afraid of doesn't even exist in the first place, bro. Bro, I've had my experience with the bumpy roads and the speed wobbles. I'm gonna pass on this one. That shit was a little sketchy. Just a little bit. Dude, you have to lean so out, so far off of a bike to fucking drag your knee. It's kind of crazy. Dude, what is all these like random ass fucking boulders in the road that I'm running over? What is this? What's easy, son? Yeah, I think if you start to adopt the mindset that nobody actually cares about you, you'll start to just live life and be happy, bro. Because that shit, all, I still struggle with that shit today, dude. I literally did that in the gym. When I was waiting around for, for uh, equipment because it was so busy, I was like, people are probably looking at me so weird right now. And then I was like, but who though? Like I was looking around and I genuinely couldn't find a singular person that was like looking at me weird. And then I realized, I was like, bro, Remember that fucking, remember that quote that you heard? That nobody actually gives a shit about you? And then I was like, you're right, bro, like nobody does. Literally nobody cares, bro. And then I was like, hi, I'm just gonna stop like worrying about what anyone's thinking about me right now, cause nobody's thinking about me right now, you know? So it's very freeing once you finally like, that's a turn lane. Once you finally figure it out and learn how to prevent that shit from like literally running your life when you go out in public or even if you're like talking to your friends, bro. Like some people still get so, what the fuck kind of ghetto bullshit is that? Uh, some people still get like so anxious, anxious around even their friends, man. They're just like, who gives a fuck what they think in the first place? And second of all, they're not e they don't even care, bro. They're not even thinking about you in that way anyways. And nobody's judging you the way that you judge yourself, bro. So, just learn to let it go, bro. Nobody actually looks at you the way that you criticize yourself. If you go up to someone and ask them, like, even if someone you love, like, like, let's say your mom or your dad or something, be like, what do you think my biggest insecurity is? Like, try to point it out. Bro, I guarantee you they're they're not going to fucking figure it out, bro. Unless you've like told them or have had like some sort of related conversation about it before, they're not gonna know. So, bro, just chill out a little bit. People don't really care like the way you think they do. Oh fuck! I didn't see him waving at me. Because his, his clothes were black, bro. Damn, bro, this guy on the bike trying to fuck. What the hell? Yo, that shit is fucking weird, dude. There's so many people that just like walk in the street and like ride a bike in the street and shit. Like, not even in a bike lane, like in the street, bro. Dude, this is for like automobiles and things with engines, dude. What are you doing in here? You know, I can put my head on a swivel because that motherfucker kind of tripped me out. He like rode straight at me. Bro, finna pull up and try to steal my bike or some shit. I don't trust anybody, deadass. No, 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 no. Bro, about ranting the red light. That shit was weird, bro. Bro, I 
wanted away with that guy, bro. Fuck. I didn't see his hand till like I passed him, but fucking hell. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You know and I almost just stalled. Dude, I was okay. The other day I was lane splitting. Oh, uh, hello. Thanks, dude. Um, the other day I was lane splitting, and uh, I was like, damn, bro, this shit is nice. Boom, boom, boom. And I was like, it feels so nice that I don't have to like worry about someone like smashing into the back of me. Pause. Alright. But like, it was so nice to like go through the cars and be at the front and not have to worry about someone rear ending me, bro. I was like, I really wish this was legal, bro. I, I'm, I really only do it if there's like hella traffic. Then I'll go between them. But like if it's three, four cars, there's not really anybody coming in from behind, then I'm fine. But I don't like care. Ow, ow. Oh, but then there was one dude that commented, like I made a short on it, and he said, uh, I value the law, or the, my life over the law. I value my life over the law. And I was like, ayo, facts, bro. <laughs> Cause I, dude, I literally saw this video of this guy's mom who was like, ride safe out there, there's a bunch of idiots, and then his mom fucking rear-ended it. <laughs> I was like, oh no, nah, bro. They, it was literally the same day, like, they, they met up somewhere, they were leaving, and the mom was like, ride safe out there, there's a bunch of idiots or something. And then as they were leaving, like, they left the parking lot, and he was at a yield, and he was yielding, and his mom fucking rear-ended him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's like, dude, even if you are paying attention, it's still so hard to see motorcycles. Especially when there's like a lot of cars around. Kind of get like tunnel visioned. And so if there's a ton of cars, I'd rather just lane split, go to the front, than like, and like risk getting a ticket than risk getting rear ended. Because if someone's like coming up on me like fast, yeah, I almost said coming up on me hard, bro. You need to relax, dude. Coming up on me fast, and I'm like, you know behind a car like where the fuck I'm supposed to go dude so yeah I mean I'm probably just uh just lane split at lights that really need it there's only like a couple cars in front of me and it's like a dead road then there's no point bro is that kid on a fucking Suron? <laughs> a Suron in the road bro I also think that in the next video, we're hitting, or, no, nah, I'm probably gonna hit 1k subscribers by the time this video comes out, so, I wanna thank each and every single one of you guys that subscribed, I love every single one of you guys, thank you so, 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 so much, I really, really appreciate it, I didn't even think I was gonna hit 1k subscribers, dude, like, I didn't even think I was gonna hit 1k, and I hit it, so, Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed. It really means so much to me. I'm just, I'm just like so, so like dumbfounded that people actually watch my shit, dude. And they like it enough to actually hit the subscribe button and actually hit the like button and tune in every video or not even every video, but most videos or some videos. It's a blessing, bro. 1K subs. I fucking love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. All of the love that you guys show me, it really means so much. And we're gonna keep going up and up, bro. You guys are the trailblazers, but you guys were all here before 1K subs or at 1K subs. So you guys get to say that you're OGs when the channel goes crazy. It already has been going crazy, dude. I've only had this channel for like one month. A little over a month and I already had 1k subs. Like, that shit's wild, bro. That's fucking crazy. I thought it was gonna take... I, first of all, I didn't think I was gonna hit it. Second of all, if I did hit it, I thought it was gonna take forever to hit 1k subs. I did not think it would take only like a month and a half. That's so crazy. So thank... Again, thank you. Every single one of you guys who have subscribed. It really means so, so much to me. 
so grateful. But I have people who actually want to watch me. It's so amazing. Smells like soil over here. It just smells good. I love the smell of dirt. Dirt is just. Dirt is fire, bro. Dirt is fire. Barrel it. I'm gonna get gas up here. And then I'll end off the video. I kinda wish I said thank you for 1k like sooner in the video, but whatever. I'll do it again in the next video probably. to thank all my home all my homies that hit the subscribe button yes sir oh my god dude <laughs> gas smells so good I love the fucking smell of gasoline. Full tank. I'll take that one out of the way. Okay, dude. All right, guys. Oh my God, I can hear that thing chopping from all the way over here. If you enjoyed this video, okay. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, spread some love, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.